A true Raider through and through, Daryl LaMonica was one of the few players to play in both the AFL and the NFL, and was instrumental to putting the Raiders on the map before the merger. Born in Fresno and a native to the Central Valley, Daryl LaMonica was an all-state QB at Clovis High School. Clovis High eventually renamed their stadium to the LaMonica Stadium in 1974. As a backup player at Clovis Seats, I actually had the privilege to play at LaMonica Stadium several times. After high school, Daryl LaMonica turned down a professional baseball contract with the Chicago Cubs, opting instead to play at Notre Dame as their starting quarterback for three seasons. He was drafted by the Buffalo Bills in 1963 in the 24th round of the AFL draft and the Green Bay Packers in the 12th round of the NFL draft. He decided to choose the Bills and join the AFL. After languishing on the bench for four years under starting QB Jack Kemp, he was traded to the Oakland Raiders in March of 1967. After Bills head coach Joe Collier assured LaMonica that he would be able to start. Ten minutes before the draft, he was traded to the Oakland Raiders. The trade included Glenn Bass while the Bills received, Art Powell, and Raiders legend Tom Flores. At the time of this trade, he was out hunting and captured a 35-pound bobcat. He named the bobcat Raider and mounted its head so that it would be a constant reminder of one of the greatest days in his life. Despite being stuck on the bench, Al Davis had seen enough from him to know that he had talent. John Madden, who in 1967 was an Oakland assistant coach under John Roush, later remarked that Daryl LaMonica was the perfect quarterback for the Raiders at that time. He went on to say that LaMonica wasn't intruding on the team already set. He eased into a team that was being built, a team that went to the Super Bowl that season, a team that was starting a tradition of success. In 1967, on New Year's Eve, the Raiders faced the Oilers in the AFL title game. LaMonica threw for two touchdowns and the Oakland Raiders won 40-7 for the first championship in their franchise's history. This Raiders vs. Oilers AFL championship game is also referred to as the Ice Bowl. Keep in mind, George Blando was the quarterback for the Oilers several years before this game. In this game, he was the Raiders' place kicker. Blando went on to make four field goals in this game while LaMonica threw for two touchdown passes and rushed for a third touchdown. It's a special thing to have a player so passionately committed to the franchise franchise and his impact on the team was immediately clear. He led the Raiders to the best record in AFL history, 13-1, and ultimately to their only AFL championship. His strategy perfectly welded with Al Davis's offensive mindset, which was simple. I'm always looking to score right now, he said. The more touchdowns I get, the safer I feel. I never have enough points. I'm thinking end zone all the time. He was nicknamed the Mad Bomber by Howard Cosell for throwing 32 touchdown passes of 40 yards or more in eight seasons with the Raiders. He had a total of two 30 touchdown seasons, including throwing 34 in 1969 when he won the AFL MVP, as well as his second All-League honor. LaMonica gave all credit to Al Davis for the long passing game, saying Al Davis convinced me that the vertical game would work. He wanted me to throw the ball downfield. Even his fiercest rivals could not avoid praising him. Kansas City's Lynn Dawson, Lenny the Cool, once said, the Mad Bomber, they named him right. He was going after it. He went back and unloaded the ball. He was going for broke on every play. John Roush was the coach in 1967 and 1968 when LaMonica was first on the Oakland Raiders. However, in 1969, Raiders head coach John Roush was now the Bills head coach. He traveled with the Bills to Oakland to face the Raiders in week five. According to rumors, Roush's disagreements with Al Davis led to the former's angry departure before being replaced by none other than NFL legend John Madden. Even though LaMonica said he wasn't bitter about his time in Buffalo and that he learned a lot from Jack Kemp as a backup, he said he couldn't wait to face the Bills Bills, adding that he had a lot to prove. He would play the Bills six times, and he won every single game. LaMonica started with the Raiders through 1972, but injuries, as well as the arrival of Kenny Stabler, reduced his playing time. After the 1974 season, he finally called it quits. In all, he finished with 19,154 yards, 164 touchdowns, and 138 interceptions. Speaking about his time in the AFL, LaMonica said, It was an exciting time. We were innovative in the AFL. We brought the passing game more into play than the NFL did. AFL fans wanted to see the ball in the air. In later years, 
LaMonica remained a close friend of the Davis family and the Raiders organization. He has even spoken with and praised current quarterbacks of the Raiders, fellow Central Valley native and Fresno State alumnus Derek Carr. Derek has a lot of talent. He's got a lot of good talent around him, and if we throw the ball down the field and we, we score, I think we'll do okay. Really do. Daryl LaMonica, the Mad Bomber, is a Raiders legend. He will be sorely missed. Rest in peace to Daryl LaMonica, and my condolences goes to the family. So, guys, go out there and watch an old Daryl LaMonica game and pay tribute to somebody who sacrificed so much for the Raiders. And you know what? I am very pissed that he is not in the Hall of Fame. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that he's not in the Hall of Fame, especially when you have people like Joe Buck in the Hall of Fame. How do you not have Daryl LaMonica in the Hall of Fame? By the way, shout out to all you guys from the Central Valley and Fresno. Daryl LaMonica is one of us man he is born here he retired here and hey we have a quarterback who played at fresno and hopefully he can live up to the greatness of daryl lamonica this season either way like this video if you want to see more content like this and subscribe to this channel to keep getting more lit raiders content every single day this is wi-fi willie of the raiders rundown peace out and have a good one al davis taught me one thing about winning in, in, in the NFL and the AFL. You only wanted to make eight or nine big plays a game, okay? Hopefully touchdowns, field goals, or a combination. The most important stat he asked me after every game was the most important thing he had. I said no INTs and no fumbles. The team with the best turnover ratio, fumbles, interceptions, won 93% of the team time then as it does today.